firmware upgrade for Pro ProSafe Netgear ProSafe 48 port gigabit switch. It's the GS748T model, and it's a version five. Uh, to identify your switch, um, on the if you look at the switch itself on the top or the bottom or at the back, there's a little white label that will tell you the switch model and brand make and also tell you which version the model is so it's very important to get the version right go to netgear.com forward slash the support and in the support, uh, support search bar type in the model name itself then it will present what version it is so check that against the white label to make sure you get the correct version then it will be presented with its support page now download two useful tools smart control center get that downloaded and install it and then download the latest firmware I've, and then get them unzipped so mine's already unzipped and I've already got the smart control center installed so there's two ways if you can if you've not been into the web interface before and you're not sure how to get hold of it normally by default it'll pick up a DHCP address on your network and then name it like that so it's quite hard to find the IP address if you haven't got any sort of tools to look at it but it's easy to download smart control center because when you run it it actually finds the switches for you so if it, even if your DHCP DHCP server or router is given it an IP address it will locate it and give you the details of what it is here and from here you can click on it and you can click on configure device or click web access and it will take you straight to this page here then you use password to log in with and then you've got the switch details right here but smart control center is really nice and nifty to use so we're going to actually use it from here today so from here under the, the smart it gives you all the details this, System information these are blank because obviously this has just literally been put into site. But if you've got more than one switch on your network, then you can actually change the system's location and the name of the of the system, so you can identify which switch is where in your building, which is really nice. I used to manage up to 200 of these switches on a day-to-day -day basis, which is really 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 nice to use. You can configure the device from here by clicking on it. You can then set up a static IP address, give it a system name, and give it a location type the password click apply and it gets uploaded really nicely so that way you don't have to have the switches in place you can literally just roll them out get them installed come back load up the, the netgear uh, software and the way you can go configure them to, you know, to do that um, underneath here you also got things like um, maintenance and uh, you can if if you've gone if you have to configure your switch for a specific thing like um, voice over IP you need a VLAN it uh, uh, you need to sort of bandwidth throttle all the ports, things like that. Uh, you, you need to disable some of the ports, the standard. You can you can configure it here. Then after it, you can actually download the configuration file as a as a file you can store away. So if you ever need to replace that switch, you can then re-upload that configuration and put it straight back out again. So you don't have to go back and remember the settings you used to have before. When I managed 200 switches, 200 of these switches, they all had slightly different configurations to each other. So um, I would know what location the switch was in I would know what config file I downloaded because I would name it a specific serial number so I can know which one to roll out to which switch so that's how I used to manage it really really nicely You've got tasks on here you can sort of set different tasks on time date and scheduling uh, that's the adapter my machines connected with it under the maintenance mode you can uh, also do the firmware upgrade so this is where we're going to do the firmware upgrades this is great because especially you've got 200 switches all over the, all over the network. I used to sort of put them in a VLAN, so I had all the switch, one of the switch ports VLAN off, so that I would see all the switches across all the whole network. The rest of the ports were in in, in a different VLAN, so that each room was v, VLAN off. So I still able to see these remotely, and this is great when it comes to up keeping the firmware upgrades. So this one's basically showing it's got firmware 6.3.111, and we know the current new firmware out there on um, the site is um, 6.3.16 now rather than run around to each of the each of these switches and plug your laptop into it to do this locally with because it's obviously seen on your network especially when I had 200 of them all on the list I just better go through to each one uploading the firmware to it then I can just leave it to roll out eventually the, up, the firmware up gets uploaded once it's installed the switch goes into a reboot and it's back up online again then you can keep refreshing this um, tool and then you can see the changes as the firmware gets applied and then you can then see which ones you've done great little management tool definitely worth um, having so in this case we're going to click on that we're going to click on download firmware we're going to point to where our firmware has been downloaded to uh, there we go and we click on the file that we need to upload click open 
and we type in the password so it's password which is standard you can change the password anytime you want and we can now say click run now click apply and it goes off and upgrades and from this point once it will after it's when it, I can't remember where it cuts you off and um, straight away or where it just upgrades then reboots so because uh, because uh, we only got one switch on the network it's going to probably actually cut my, cut my connection off while it's going going through but once that's done it will reboot the switch the switch will come back online pcs will reconnect and you can reconnect back to the switch that then check um, if it's all completed so the file download is, is progressing 48 percent almost done and it should then after it's finished can go into a reboot the other thing good thing about this you can actually schedule the firmware upgrade so you can actually rather than sort of spend late nights doing this you can actually um, click the firmware give it a specific time you want to upload it to so do this throughout the day so before if you know you've got to do the firmware upgrades then you can sit there one uh, one afternoon before you go say two hours before you go home click on each switches upload it give it a time and date to up to um, start initializing the firmware update click apply then leave it so when you go home you know during the night it'll be doing all, all its upgrading and stuff so once your device is um, it'll disconnect the switch to which you're going for a reboot it'll drop all the connections on the network so bear with it and uh, as soon as it all comes back which this one has because I'm actually I'm actually in the UK this server uh, is actually in California so hence why the, the time I'm actually at this time in present is a.m. over um, sorry it's 11.20 in the morning over there it's 3.25 in the morning <laughs> so it's a big difference so yeah so it's um, come back it's now shown firmware 3.6.3.116 which is the current version then we can confirm that by going on to the uh, web browser itself and we can just double check to make sure the switch is configured because these switches have two images in very like two firmwares and it's not always booted uh, sometimes you don't boot it doesn't boot it will stay on the current firmware so it has like system one uh, sorry two images loaded for the BIOS I think on this one here I think it has uh, yeah so yeah so there you go it's, it's loaded so you've got boot version software version 6.3.16 and you can tell this has been rebooted because system up time is showing it's zero day, zero now, 11 minutes. It's definitely rebooted. So brilliant. So the job done. So that's how simple and easy to upgrade firmware and network net, Netgear switch. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, please subscribe. Um, if, you if you're already subscribed, please put a thumbs up. Any comments you have or questions you have about, about these switches or any switches in, in theory you're not quite sure of, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.